Salzburg is an Austrian city that borders Germany. One of the things this city is most known for is the film, The Sound of Music. Not only did the real Chop family once live here, this movie classic was also filmed in and around the city. But the city is also very famous for being the birthplace of the classical composer Mozart. It has well preserved historical architecture, and the view of the Alps are amazing too. I went to Salzburg the other day, so in this video, I'm gonna introduce this city full of charms. Let's get started! Salzburg is located at the western end of Austria and easily accessible from other major cities. From Vienna, it takes two and a half hours and from Munich in Germany, it takes about two hours by train. Some people come to Salzburg from these cities for a day trip, but honestly, it is impossible to see all the famous tourist attractions here in just one day. The city is divided in two by the Zauzach River. On the east side, you can find a Mirabel Palace with a beautiful garden, where the Doremi song scene from The Sound of Music was filmed. If you have seen the movie, you will probably find some familiar places. Only 5 minutes away from the place on foot, there is a shopping street called Linzergasse. There are so many nice cafes, bakeries, and shops here. After having a good coffee, let's cross the Zalzach River to get to the east side of the city, which contains most of the tourist spots in Salzburg, including the old town. Oh, but don't forget to look at the beautiful mountain range from the bridge when you cross it. One of the most popular places you don't want to miss is Mozart's birthplace in the old town. Salzburg's most famous son was born at this house in January of 1756. Today, Mozart's birthplace is one of the most visited museums in Austria, and you can find original certificates, letters, and memorabilia documenting Mozart's life in Salzburg. This place is one of the highlights of Salzburg, above all for fans of the legendary composer. By the way, this Mozart's birthplace and many other tourist attractions here require an entrance fee. However, if you buy a Salzburg card, you can get a free admission to most tourist attractions and museums in the city, as well as a free travel on public transportation and some discounts on cultural events and concerts. I bought a 24-hour pass for 30 euros and found it really good value. They have 48 hour and 72 hour passes as well, and the prices change depending on the season. So I think you should check them out and get whichever one fits your trip plan. The street that has the most birthplace is called Getredgasse. Getredgasse is the bustling heart of Salzburg Old Town and it draws visitors from around the world with its wide selection of international fashion chains, traditional shops, and a broad range of dining opportunities. The architecture of the houses and their signboards are so beautiful, even the fast food shops that everyone knows. Just a few blocks away from Mozart's birthplace, there is a huge square called the Residence Plus Square. It has a very beautiful fountain at the center and was also used as a filming location for the sound of music. On the side of the square, the dome stands out as a masterpiece of Baroque art. It's one of the most beautiful cathedrals I've ever seen, and it's a must-see spot in Salzburg. When I went there, luckily I was able to listen to a pipe organ performance. Next to the cathedral stands the residence. The former center of the Prince Archbishop's power, the cathedral and the residence, together with the Benedictine Monastery of St. Peter, form today's Dome Quartier. 
the historic rooms of the Dom Quartier are home to various exhibitions of the city's Baroque history. The residence is very gorgeous and enormous, so it takes at least a couple of hours to look around. Salzburg's most visible icon is Hohen Salzburg Fortress. It's a mighty, 900-year-old Clifton Fortress and one of the biggest and best preserved in Europe. The fortress is a steep 15-minute walk from the center or a speedy ride up in a glass cable car. Here you can enjoy guided tours of Baroque state rooms, lookout towers, and museum collections along with far-reaching views over the city's spires, the Salzburg River, and the mountains. Hebron Palace is definitely my favorite place in Salzburg. The Hebron Palace is about 400 years old and was built 1613 to 19 by Mark Stilicus, a prince archbishop from Salzburg. He used the Hebron Palace as a pleasure palace, a place for entertaining his guests and for celebrations. You can also find the Sound of Music Pavilion in the park of the palace. However, beside the picturesque Baroque Palace and the marvelous Hebron Gardens, the main highlight is the popular trick fountains near the palace. The fountains are very beautiful and enjoyable and sometimes can be funny. <laughs> it seems like Marcus Didicus had a keen sense of humor and there are so many hidden fountains that surprise and spread to visitors. <laughs> Because the water can come from the places you wouldn't imagine. I was really careful to not get my camera wet, but I admit the experience was so fun. It's a little far away from other tourist spots and you need to take a bus to get there, but it's definitely worth the trip. This is what Salzburg has to offer. As you can see, there are so many things to see in this compact city. There are many other the sound of music filming locations in and around Salzburg that I couldn't introduce in the video. So if you're a fan of the film, it will be fun to explore yourself when you visit. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more travel videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, bye!